fun. I think if you want to be a good parent, you really need to have at least two kids. I do, because your first kid ends up being a practice kid. You know what I mean? Yeah. Our oldest is such a practice kid, we should have named him Mulligan. <laughs> That's true for old parents, too, by the way. If you are an oldest child, I guarantee your parents made a lot of mistakes when they were raising you. If you are an only child, that means they screwed up so bad, they were afraid to try a second time. I'll tell you the biggest difference with our second kid, though. The biggest difference is, like I said, our first kid is a boy, our second kid is a girl. That's really different. Like, like the gifts you get when you have a girl are way different. When my daughter was born, my mother-in-law bought her a, a little baby onesie, which, which read, uh, does this diaper make my butt look big? Yeah. She got my daughter a gag gift, right? I thought it was so funny, I bought my mother-in-law the matching t-shirt. And, um, for some reason, she doesn't want to wear it, I don't know. I do like having little kids at home, though. I do. When, when I'm not on the road doing comedy, I'm basically a stay-at-home dad, or as I prefer being called, trophy husband. Um, <laughs> my wife says it's not so much a trophy as a ribbon of participation, but whatever. <laughs> I, I, I do the stay-at-home dad thing because my wife has a full-time job. She's the smarter one in our marriage, which I will freely admit. Uh, I forget sometimes just how smart my wife is, and I am reminded of it every time the two of us have to make a decision together as a married couple, and I make the mistake of speaking first. <laughs> it's never worked out for me. <laughs> like just last this year, we were doing our taxes. We realized we were going to get some money back. We had to decide as a couple how we were going to spend it, and I spoke up first. I go, honey, you know what we should do is invest that money in a PlayStation, right? <laughs> Just awesome idea, you know? And then my wife countered, she's like, well, we could do that. Or we could use it to refinance the mortgage on the house and roll over the monthly savings into a flat stock option, which we flip at the end of the year when the holiday bubble is at its peak. And that would give us enough money to pay off the remainder of the car loan, so the college fund for the kids, with enough money still left over for me to get some outfits and some makeup and you to get that PlayStation and three games. <laughs> okay, let's do that. Um. I still get the PlayStation though, right? <laughs> right, if you need me, I'll be in the corner coloring. <laughs> Too much fun, I don't want to get off stage. This is not, you know, 